I'm not sure if that hit him or not. I am tempted just to run in and do this. Because I can do this. And just kill one straight out. We just dodge the uh, dodge the bullshit. Yep. Yep. We run this way. Do do do. Keeping. I don't want to pull the other gabos. Come on. Ow! Son of a biscuit. What? What? All right, let's just drink a health potion. That's ridiculous. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. You stay away. You stay away. <laughs> Damn, baby. Come on now. Don't need none of that nonsense. That was, uh, that was, yeah, that, I don't know, I don't know why I got so close to death there. Maybe it's because I suck. <clears throat> Sorry, what? Yeah, pay no attention to that by the curtain. He's a moron. He's a professional, but he's still a moron. And we got dude bro on the roof. Apparently somebody can see me. It's him. Not too bad. There you go, boy. And you're done. And you're done. You see how far it knocks him back, dude? It's crazy. Are they on me? No. No. So now question. Do do can you keep them from spawning again? Oh, there's another shaman over there. And we shoot him in the face. Nice. Oh, he dodged it. He dodged it. Not gonna dodge this one. Didn't dodge that one though. Oh boy, oh boy, that's a that's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of he can't get out. He can't get out. That's hilarious. He's having to destroy his own base to get out. Oh, while well, I'm killing all your kin, killing all your kin. Oh, oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Okay, we're we're gone. We're gone. I'm gone. I'm gonna lead him this way, away from my stuff. It's only three of them. Any of them stars? I don't see any stars. Okay. The spear chucker is a big issue. Damn it. 30 damage. Ugh. Come on. I might have to use another health potion, I think. Nope, maybe not. Oh, come on. The frost is so awesome. Look at that. Look how much it slows them, man. It sends their bodies flying. So juicy. So juicy. Let's go ahead and grab some more of that. Yeah. All right, now. So we, I was, what, three, or, three more? Yeah. Yeah, I just like I said, I wonder how long it takes them to despawn. How much does it take for me to make this one certling core? I got, I got, I actually do have a certling core, so I can put a bonfire directly in the middle of this thing. Do I need a workbench? No, I just need core wood, ancient bark. Okay. Boom. You dead, boy. You dead. Now, where is my shaman? Ah, there he is. There he is. I see him. Is there still dudes in there? No. It says somebody sees me. I think it's the Lux. He's dead. Oh, 
Oh, he almost shot me in the back. That could have been bad. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, you're done. Oh, you're done. You're done, boy. What is this? Sharpening stone. I can make a grinding wheel. Oh, hello. Hello, new things to make. Yay! Woo! Uh-huh, there's a level one bro right there. Nice. Stand and fight, Gabo! Stand and fight. Damn, dude, look at them all. Alright, so. Is there more things I can find? Okay, let's grab that. Carrying too much. Chuck that on the ground. Yeah, you guys stay away. Hmm. Are there more gobos? Now that is a crop of wheat. What's going on? <laughs> is he running? I think he's running. Flax. No! No, I destroyed them. Oh, I destroyed them. That's not good. Come here, bud. Come here. I'm waiting for the death mosquito, Al. Jackass. Give me all that flax. Barley. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All of it. I want all of it. So they've already got a little bit of a little bit of crop thing going on here. That's cool. That's cool. Got the wheat stone. Whetstone, whatever, however you want to call it. Sweet, we got flax. I'm assuming it can only grow in this biome. Yeah, they don't. They don't like me very much, do they? Um, let's grab that. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. And I think that was the last one. Yeah. All righty. They're little huts. This, you can't even get in this one. What the hell? Oh, no. There it is. There it is. Come here, boy. See what I'm saying? It says 151. I mean, once you get behind them, though, look. Like, they can't move, man. Doesn't last very long on them, though. I guess it's because they're frost resistant. I guess that's what it is. Pretty sure that's what it is. Is they're frost resistant. Yeah. He is definitely trying to get behind me. Wow, the damage. There it is. Boom. I guess that's why the arrows do so well. Sort of. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Just, 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 just settle down now. Settle down. Sweet. All right. Locks meat times five. Jeez, man. Uh, I'm just gonna throw that in there. Uh, where's the, the where's that metal at? There it is. It's like you're carrying too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I realize. I realize. Simeo, greetings and salutations, my good dude. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, friend. Good to see you. So, do you guys know if that's how it works? If the um, if you build, a, if I built a bonfire here, would I be able to stop the goblins from respawning? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I am going to go back to base, though, because I'm not going to stand here while I need to go do something. Unfortunately, my dudes, I drink way too much coffee. So, what does that mean? Well, it means I need to go do something. So, I'll be right back. Stand by to stand by to stand by. We will continue this adventure when I return. And, huh, there we go. Bling. Be right back.
Alrighty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, I got more meat. We got more more dice. So I can actually make my thing now. We also can make a grinding stone, whatever the hell that does. Crafting. <sighs> it's a forge improvement. Ooh, I still need to remake that. So yeah, we definitely need to I definitely need to get some more iron, man. I need the more iron. I need it. I need it all in my life. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the grindstone here. Um, I'm debating on whether or not to How much flax do I have? I'll put one more in here. And then I'm gonna we're gonna come out here and I'm gonna throw some I'm gonna throw some barley in here. How much barley do I got? I got a little bit of barley. Twenty-two. Twenty. Bam, there you go. Alright, I'm gonna replant all that stuff at the gobble base. Uh, let's grab let's grab a cultivator. New build piece, flax. Excellent. Grab the cultivator. Game, please. Please. What is this? Linen thread. No room in inventory. Damn you, Bobby. Damn you. I got a bunch of crap on me. That's what I got. That's what I got. Animal bobs. And I'm going to make that. Let's uh, throw... Th really? I'm, I'm gotta, I got a stack now? Okay. We got some of this going on. Lox meat. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Seven of them. Ooh, looking good. I got more needles. Um, I should probably make those into arrows. Yeah, mold needle arrows. You're doing good, man. That's great to hear, my friend. Hope everybody's doing good on their glorious Saturday. I was hoping to get some uh, going to the park in today, but unfortunately, it's piss and rain like freaking always when I want to go do something so that's a no bueno you know what I'm saying um, I'm gonna leave this here for now hmm I kind of don't want to carry both on me I really kind of don't want to carry both on me uh, but I got nowhere else to put it um, I guess I could just I mean can I can I I can't you can't throw arrows up on the on, on a on a thing can you like if I were to take this and then I were to go like that and go eight. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. Can't do that. That's my extra hammer, just in case you're wondering. For uh, for those extra special moments. Uh, let's go ahead and repair everything while we're here. And I've, I think I got some... Uh, I already got some furlong, furlong trophies, right? So it shouldn't be... It should be okay. Furling trophies. Where's my trophies? Trophies! Trophies. Yeah, look. Yeah, they dropped so many of them, too. All right, now, bonfire. What do I need for this? I need a certain core. Ancient bark. I need five, five. Okay, okay. We need five of all the crazy shit. So we'll grab five. Oh, 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 oh. Let's do this first. Let's make our cape. Let's make our cape since we're here. We'll grab the silver. I need, like, what, five silver? I think. Or is it two? It's probably two. It'll be okay. It will be okay. Locks cape. Boom. I want to see what it looks like. It's probably not magnificently awesome, like the wolf cape. I hate to say it, but I kind of like the wolf cape better, although I like the fringe on it. It's pretty cool. It's not nearly as big as the wolf cape. You know what I'm saying? It's not nearly as big. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Where shall I hang my wolf cape, huh? Where shall it hang? You know, I really should look into some mods. You know that? I really should look into some mods. Because uh, it's getting kind of old having to do this. It's getting kind of old having to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not really worried about my crops. I got so much food right now. I'm, I'm good. I, I, I farm the living crap out, so I don't have to worry about it right now. Alrighty. So it's, a, it's, it's actually, you know, similar of similar level. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Um, some fine wood, grab some nails, and I think we are going to hang us up a fur cape. Now, where am I going to put the damn thing is the question. Um, I could put it right here. Yeah, we could put it right here. I didn't, I didn't, I am not going to have enough room for all this, all this forge crap. I did not, I did not build out enough. I'm going to have to move a bunch of shit, aren't I? 
Yeah, it definitely feels that way. It definitely feels that way. Cannot attach this item. What? Are you for real? Uh, what? Shit. Wrong button. Wrong button. Um. Is, is that a thing? Don't tell me that's a thing. Don't tell me that's a thing, baby. Because that's not cool, man. So is the, is the, is the, I was about to say the bronze nails are still up there, aren't they? Um, why? <laughs> why? Why, though? Why? You cannot attach this item. Why? <clears throat> why can't I have my thing? I want my thing, damn it. Give me the nails. I want to hang it up. Um, I guess I could just chuck it on the floor. Ugh. I want to hang it up. I want to, you know, like all my weapons and stuff. Maybe maybe the wall's not big enough. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to put it, like, over here. Something like this, maybe? Maybe that'll work. Maybe it just didn't have enough room. Maybe that's what it was. Nope. That's a big old negatory there, Ghost Rider. Alrighty, well, I guess the wolf cape goes in the box. I guess it goes in the box with the rest of my stuff. Can you not hang any of those up? Could throw my fine wood bow up here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I was using that thing until basically I made the bow I'm currently using. <laughs> that's right, boys. That's right. That's how Tango does it. All right, now we need ancient bark. All right, have I got everything else? Since I can't hang up my damn cloak like I want to. Damn you, Bobby. Damn you. So what was it? It was, it was five. I needed five of these. Right? Right. And then I needed five of these. And then I needed five of core wood. Which I should have a crap ton of as well. Somewhere around here. Five. Boom. Bada bing. Bada bang. Bada 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 boom. And I need a certling core. Because of course you need a certling core. Of course. Of course. I got one, I think. I think I got four on my boat, so I'm, like I said, I'm not overly concerned here. All right, so linen. What does this? What does this give us? Padded greaves, padded cuirass, linen cape, padded helmet, black knife, porcupine, black metal sword, and that is why we cannot build stuff. Black metal eight gear. Thirty black metal for that thing. Wow. Why do you need linen thread for that? Padded helmet. You need iron for that? What? What? I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? <laughs> you need iron for the padded helmet? No. No, 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 no. A darkling blade, strong and sharp. Eight. Look at that. Four to ten damage. I mean, it's like... It's probably super fast. Porcupine. A deadly weapon bristling with fiendish spikes. So it's got blunt and pierce. Ooh. Oh, hello. Why does it require iron instead of black metal? What is going on? What is going on with this? Black metal swad. Black, okay, it actually uses black metal. And it does 95 damage. Ah, uh, 50 plus 70. Let's see. That's 80. To be fair, though, my Frostner does way more damage than that. Way more damage. Um, the slash is 95. The frost near blunt and frost are basically more dam way more damage than that. Porcupine, though, is basically 95 damage as well. But it requires 10, 20 iron. What the? F what? <laughs> what? Why, though? Why does it require 20 iron? That blows my mind. I mean, I want it. I definitely want it. I definitely want it. But why iron? Why game? Why? So much loot. What shield did you use for bone mass? I used the uh, iron shield. Iron banded shield. Yeah. Highly recommend you get it as, get it as high level as possible. 
um, to be able to block his bullshit. Because if you, I don't think you can parry him. Well, you can. It just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't stun him. It does give you the bonus damage. I think. That's about it. Okay, and then we go get whatever made barley, right? And we use that. What? What the hell came out of this? Flour, blood pudding, bread, and something pie. Sweet. Blood pudding. Ooh, blood bags and barley flour. Now that's a good. That's good stuff. Bread is just barley flour. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Lox meat pie. Oh, 2,480. Okay. Okay. The shitty thing about it is, is that the serpent meat is like so hard to get, man. You know what I mean? It really is hard to get. And because of that, and because of that, it's just like, I don't want to use it. Right? But I could totally use it. I could totally use it. Totally. Bro. All right, let's go ahead and throw down. Um, are any of these empty? <laughs> no. No. None of them are empty. Uh, let's grab that. And we're going to throw down a little contraption. I'm just going to set it on the table because why not? And throw that in there. Where's our, Where's that flower? Did I pick it up? There it is. So we'll throw that in there. I'm going to go farm some more of this stuff. Throw that in there as well. Throw that in there. So we need five, five, and five. And I got a certain core, so I can make a freaking bonfire. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's going to be awesome. That's what it's going to be. Oh, yeah, I might want to eat. <laughs> I might want to do that. I might want to do that. Um, let's grab... Actually, you know what, dude? You know what? wonder how much that makes. I need to, I need to do some new crafting on some of that. So I got a lot of food now. And uh, we're going to need to go bling, bling, bling. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that HP, man. It just, it's just so good. So good. Is troll armor good for him or is iron armor better? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. <clears throat> I used troll armor until I got the uh, silver level armor. So I did not use iron armor nor bronze armor. But I did not use them. But it was a pain in the ass because he he does massive amounts of damage. I mean, he does more poison than anything, but he still does physical damage to you. And all the other enemies do physical damage to you as well. Yes, it is a... It, you will fight more than just him. So while poison resistance will definitely help, <clears throat> and you definitely want health potions and stamina potions, I highly recommend those. Can't, can't recommend them enough uh, for boss fights. Okay, let's go. Let's go get our farm on. And that's the merchant. That's MTO Death. And this is the boss. Boss portal. Das boss portal. Um, but yeah, troll armor is not going to give you nearly as much armor. I'm going to tell you right now, dude. It's If you're if you're trying to min-max at all, no, it's not. I did it because I didn't want to go farm more iron or bronze or any of that other nonsense. I just wanted to fight the boss kind of thing. Because, I, you know, I stream, so I kind of don't want to spend all my time just to farming. Um, but... I would recommend getting getting good good armor to uh, to fight his ass. Downslide, greetings and salutations, my friend. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Um. All right, now I need fuel. <laughs> now I need fuel. Uh, I guess I could just. Do this, right? Oh, that's where I got all the deer hide from. I was wondering where I got all that deer hide from. They made a, they made their damn houses out of it. All right, sweet. Oh, nice. Out of wood. Look at that bad boy. Look at it. And we will build. I need ten more wood. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, what I will do is I will go grab... I don't know what all that is. Coins. I got a... Uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. I know I got one of these out here. I'm a derp. I'm, I'm, actually, I don't need to disassemble that. Um, what I need to do is uh, mark it on the map. That'd probably be a good idea. That would probably be a good idea. So should I install this game then? <laughs> yes, downslide. You should totally install it. It is a damn good game. It's a bit grindy. 
it's a bit grindy. And I do wish that, uh, like a lot of the other games in this genre, for instance, Ark is a good example of this. They, um, they allow you to tweak the world at the at the creation that and so it allows you to if you if you want it allows you to change the dynamics of the world i.e uh, how much it takes to build things how much wood you get when you harvest trees yada 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 how fast does this use wood not very fast outslide has resubscribed tier one for 12 months magnificent bastard son of a good to see you, man thank you for that very much appreciate that it's been a year a year of two weeks to flatten the curve. That's right, baby. That is exactly right. Never forget. Never surrender. Absolutely, man. The, it'll never stop. You know it'll never stop. And we will definitely disassemble that and that. And I will throw all the core wood in the fire. Uh, do I have any regular wood on me? I do not. I Oh, you can't add core wood to this fire. Oh, well. Then what I want to know is where the hell they got their regular wood from. I can't disassemble it. I literally have to chop it to pieces. So, that's what we're going to do. Oh, hey. Chest. Ooh. Needles. Very nice. Actually, I can't disassemble that. So, whip this bad boy out. No, silly. Do this. And uh, soon, my dudes, soon. I just finished uh, editing my first Pantheon video. It should be out. Probably publish it tomorrow, maybe, maybe tonight, maybe tonight. I need to edit. I need to still do a little bit of editing. I need to add something to it. It's only three minutes long, and it took me hours to edit the damn thing. Hopefully, uh, my future Pantheon videos will not take nearly as much time. I wanted to get a bunch of footage and a bunch of stuff, so that's why. Because I'm being super, super. Now, is it going to completely fall apart? That's the question. If you take out all the supports, it should completely collapse. There it is. There it is. Boom. Lovely. Lovely. Look at all the deer hide, man. That's a lot of deer hide. That is a lot of deer hide. Can I disassemble that? No, I can disassemble that, though. All right, we got a shit ton of wood. Let's throw it on the fire. Oh, God. No, get out of the fire. Stop. Ah! All right. Uh... Can you not add fire when you're on fire? I assume not. Okay, there we go. You can only add 10? Really? That is very disappointing. That is very, very disappointing. Okay, so... I have Das Cultivator. And... Let's whip out this. There's still, there's still dude bros over there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the Cultivator. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to kill. I'm gonna have to kill the locks, aren't I? Hmm. See more of this, the more it looks like a mash of Neverwinter Nights and Ark in third person. Yeah, it does feel that way. Ark looks like shit in third person. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that out loud for everybody to hear. Um, I'm debating on whether to get that freaking, whether to get my sword or not. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home and grab it real quick. We sh I should, I should be wielding the damn thing. I really don't need my pick, right? So I could substitute the pick. As far as the weight goes. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one there. And there we go. An item prevents you from teleporting. Oh, does it? Is there an item that prevents me from teleporting? Is that right? Why did I hear a door open? Where, where did that go? But yeah, Ark looks like crap in third person. But one of the... Um, the thing about this, it really feels like it's... It feels like it's almost like a survival third-person EQ to me. That's that's really what it boils down to as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, we got all that. Yes, and I'm going to grab the SWAD. Actually, how much black metal do I have? I have 21 black metal, and I have 20 iron. I need just a few more needles, and I can make the porcupine. But again, it just it sucks because Frostnir is so good, man. So good against pretty much everything but cold resistant dudes, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. The spirit damage, I'm not sure how much how much like the like this, the silver sword, 75 and 30 spirit. I think that's the nothing unclean can abide its touch. Yeah. I think what we're going to do 
is uh, I might go ahead and make this thing. I need oh no no I need ten linen so I can't make it yet. Yeah yeah it's gonna be that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little bit. So we're gonna grab we're gonna grab Das sword and then we're gonna stick the pick pickaxe up there. Put the sword right there. And so when I fight the locks, we will be able to uh, be able to do the damn thing. Let's go. I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm probably gonna move the portal soon too. But again, thank you downside for that. So very much appreciate it. But uh, Neverwinter Nights. Um, you mean? Do you mean the the game? Or excuse me. Do you mean the MMO? Neverwinter. Or no, that's Neverwinter. Yeah, Neverwinter Nights is the uh, is the RPG. Yeah, that's right. Ugh, bone fragments. Oh God. Yep, like the mod that allows you to turn off the ability to pick up certain things. I would love the ability to turn off picking up bone fragments. I've got an entire stack of them. I'll be fine. Ooh. Almost ran into the spikes again. Yeah, I'm hoping this prevents more dudes from spawning. I'm hoping. All right, let's kill, let's kill these bros. I don't see any more... I don't see any more gobos or deskitos. So we're just gonna kinda roll with it. Come at me, bro. There you go. Ooh, nice. It still doesn't do Look at that. It still says look. It's still not it's still not good damage. That's kinda weird. That's kinda weird. Huh. It must be the spirit damage. It must be the spirit damage. I'm not sure. It does. It's doing more than the than the hammer was though, so that's for sure. So that's good. Oh, a locks trophy. Very nice. Very nice. What does that look like? And how much does it weigh? Two pounds. Okay. We can. Uh, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. No. No. Did they respawn? Sons of bitches. Ow. Ow. Die. Horse waddle. Maybe they just, maybe they stumbled upon me. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. I can only imagine. Picking up the flax. Okay, so, so I mean, I, I mean, people keep uh, Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition uh, with the DM login, multiplayer server options, exploded in persistent worlds. Yeah, dude, I remember. I remember. Community built scripts. Oh, dude, it was so amazing. I remember playing like a rogue, shadow dancer, monk, like like twenty something levels in monk, five in rogue, so that you got uh, the ability to not get caught flat footed, and. Um, Something else. Something else. Shadow Dancer for something else. Crazy. Like you always get to use your dodge bonus no matter what or something like that. It was it was it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Come on, buddy. Come on. Blocking 25. Yay! There it is. So yeah, just pokey pokey. Pokey pokey pokey. Boom. And you're dead. <laughs> Now it's never, Neverwinter Night Enhanced. I, I don't like any of the. It, it, I was really disappointed in Neverwinter Night's Enhanced Edition because I bought it and it still has all the same bugs, all of them, including the crash bug that makes you lose hours of progress and corrupts your save. Gotta love that, right? That's I, I've I've played Storm of Zephyr, Zephyr, whatever the hell you want to call it, like five or six times, and I've gotten about halfway through it. Every time, every time, something ends up. Crashing my game and corrupting my save and I lose hours of progress because I forget to save at that one point. And then it just and then I'm just like, well, you know, I've lost like ten hours with the game where the where the where the where the progress here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend like uh like I never started playing it. Yeah, that's that's every freaking time. The first time I played it, that's exactly what happened. First time I played it. And it's uh it, it, it corrupts like three or four of your saves. So even if you do save, there's a good chance that you will still lose that save. It's, it's crazy as that sounds. Did I just pick up a bunch of stone? I did. Get out of here. 
I don't need no stone. I mean, he's like blowing shit up. So I guess, I guess that's what's going on. There we go. Get out of here. Now, hopefully that the gobos were just coming over here to say hi. And they're not actually, you know, interested in being over here. So what we're going to do. So I might actually uh, do this instead. Let's see, can I destroy this? Let me guess. I need a pickaxe, don't I? Yeah, I need a pickaxe to destroy that. Um, what happens if I drink my potion when I don't mean to? Because I'm spamming buttons. Um, if I cultivate here. Yeah, it's directly in the way. Hmm. Hmm. Well. I mean, I guess I could just use theirs. I guess I could just use theirs. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and throw some barley down. I don't know how much of this I need. I do know we need a bunch of it to make flour, though. So, how healthy are you guys? Doing good? Doing good. Okay. It does kind of suck that you have to have a plains base to be able to grow barley. That does kind of suck. Also, don't know how far apart it needs to be. So, probably just do this. One more row. How much do I have? Two more. Fir, pine, beech. Oh, I can, oh, oh, you can make beech. thought you couldn't make beech trees. No, pines are... Fir and beech are regular wood, right? Yeah, they're regular wood. And so, it's healthy, 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 healthy. There's still a server out there in the world, uh, running the world of Greyhawk world. Has about 40% of the original a AD and D mods. Oh my god. Oh, you spent most of your time? Okay, in custom-built dungeons and stuff? No, nah, dude, I played the living crap out of single player, dude. Um, that was my jam, man. Especially the uh, the first Neverwinter Nights. Uh, excuse me, f especially the Neverwinter Nights 2. The, the very first one. Non-expansion thing. Dude, I, pl I, I think I beat the game with like six different characters. I adore, adore the story from Neverwinter Nights 2. It is so... So damn good that, like, there's, the only story that even comes close, in my opinion, is, like, KOTOR. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1 was good, too, in that regard. Really good story. Really good story. Wow, I need more, way more flax, huh? Well, we can go find some more gobos and take care of that, right? I think that's what we're going to go do. We're, we're going to go find more gobos to kill. Uh, let's mark this on the map. So, this is, this is my base. There we go. My base, my base, and uh, let's get some let's get some chow going on, and uh, let's go exploring. Got eleven minutes. I can run around here. Um, we got a big area, so yeah. And look at this, man. This this whole thing right here is probably I'm pretty sure is uh, is plains. So we got plenty of stuff to go see. Plenty of things to see. Yes, yes. I might take the cultivator back. But I really don't need to. Oh, you know what I do need to do? Need to, uh, what I really need to do is get out here and grab all this black metal with my, uh, with my boat. And we got this power, so motor. <laughs> oh my god, dude. His name is Motor. His name is Motor, and his power, his power, listen to me now, his power is that he always gives you tailwind. So his name is Motor. His name is Motor. And he always gives you tailwind. I think that's a bit on the nose. I think that's a bit on the nose there. All right, we got uh, we got our locks cape. How much uh, how much does it take to upgrade this thing? Two locks belt. Well, let's go ahead and do it. And then it requires four locks belt. Okay. I mean, why not, right? Why not? And now. See, do I have any more? No, I don't. I do have one over here. Let's go ahead and throw this bad boy here. Yeah. So, well, what is it? Seven. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What I'm actually, I think we're actually gonna do this. I think we're actually gonna do this. I'm gonna take my troll one down, and I'm gonna put this bad boy right here. Right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That looks. That looks juicy. Actually, you know, 
I think it might be time to move this. I think it might be time to move this. And we'll move this one as well. And I could I could do with these, right? We could take that down. That down. And then we disassemble. I put those up there because I had a, I had a second level, so it was a it was a good it was a cool thing. Are my nails up there? I think my nails are up there, aren't they? I just ate food too, man. I'm so pissed. Yep, my <laughs> my bronze nails, my nails, my nails. Well, that's that's just great. That's just great. Well, all right. If that's how you're gonna be game, then that's how we're gonna be. Let's uh see what we can do about it, huh? See what we can do about it. Bloop. I, l I love the fact that you can build ladders. I love that. Just just boom, boom. Bada boom, bada boom. This is why I love the building in this game. That right there. Is that the right there? All right, now. <laughs> Freaking dudes. Um, let's grab. Let's do. Let's grow. Uh, see, I don't. I want all this to be lined with weapons. And I put all my trophies over here. So, hmm, but this this stuff has gotten in the way now. Hmm. hmm. I still could put it up there. I still could. We got that troll there. I could put, the, ooh, yeah, we'll put the locks here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do is we'll put the locks there. And seven. Bam. Nice. Nice. And I think that'll be it. I think we'll just, uh. How many troll trophies do I got? Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine with that. We'll be fine with that. Oh, I got some. I got some more barley. Hmm, I should probably go plant that, shouldn't I? Should probably go plant that. Or, 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 or. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude. This windmill thing is is cool looking. I gotta admit, it's pretty. It's pretty badass. It's pretty badass. Yes. Look at look at my crops, dude. I love it. Love it. We're not gonna we're not gonna mess with it for now though. Uh, mainly because I have so much stuff. It's not even funny. I'm going to go ahead and eat one of those. I'm going to grab another two of these. Keep them on me. I really do want to make some more... Um, I really do want to make some more... Food, though. Some of the good, 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 good food. Yes, the best. That's best food. It's best food around, yes. Yes. And we repair. We grab more arrows. More arrows. And I'm out of bobs. That sucks. Out of bobs. Well, Bob's your uncle, but we still need them. And I do need I do need some more health potions. I need to quit using them. Just randomly. Uh, keep them off my bar, that'll probably do it. <laughs> when I'm trying to do the bits and bobs and uh, what I really need to do also is uh so we've discovered that we can I need more iron for this, the Smith's anvil, and I need a grinding wheel. Excuse me. I need to make a grinding wheel as well. And you can see how big it is. I need to. I need more space. So what I might do. What I might do. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely need more space. Um. Hmm. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about this because I don't have any room, unless I destroy these, and move them down, which I don't really want to do. I just rebuilt all this crap. And, uh, yeah, that's still standing there. So where the hell does that go? Planes? Let's see where this goes. I want to know where this goes. Simo, greetings and salutations. KJ, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. A motor is mother in Swedish? Yeah, yeah, she's the, she's the big... Oh, this is where it is. Oh, okay, okay. So, and my base is up here. So, yeah, there is some, uh, there's a gobbo camp right there. So that's, that's where we got. All right, let's go. That is Odin. Yes, it is. Just saw a guy in a black rope when I got close to him. He teleported away. Yep, that's Odin. That is death incarnate. He is there to both tease and encourage you at the same time. To tickle your fancy ever so slightly. Yes, yes. Like, I'm actually thinking of moving this and putting putting it over here and getting rid of one of these. I'm going to need more room, dude. Because I need to build the giant anvil, which I'm going to have to put like right in the middle of the floor. And then I'm going to have to build the freaking grinding wheel, which I'm going to have to put somewhere else. So, yeah, I've... I mean, it works for what I got, but I'm, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more things. And this thing needs an extra. No, it doesn't need anything else, does it? No, no. What I could do is I could move this to over here. Hmm. 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 
I could also be a derp and do something like this. Right? Do that. <laughs> and then do something like, oh, I don't know, like uh like this. And just be uh just be just be a just be a derpy derpin. Right? <laughs> That'll work. Oh, I put out the torch. Whoops. Did it actually destroy the torch? <gasps> okay, no, it come back. I was like, no, don't destroy my torch. Damn you, huh? Damn you. Yeah, I really don't know what the hell I'm going to do about all this. I'm kind of confused as to what's going to happen here. Um, Is it nighttime? I think it's coming at nighttime. I'm going to go I'm gonna go sleep, and then I think we're going to go do some more exploring. Then we might go get some iron. I think that might be what we do next after that. What a creep. I know, right? Always up in your ish. Always up in your ish. Um, we're definitely gonna need some more, more barley and stuff. I'm really glad we found all that stuff. Uh, what I really need, what I really, 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 really need, is more room. That's uh, that's the unfortunate thing. I'm gonna have to rearrange this entire base. That's probably something we're gonna do tomorrow on our um, on our Sunday Tango Chill stream. Yes, indeed. We're gonna get about an hour or two in, probably. Uh, today, I, I you know uh, we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna finish this out. I want. I, I I was thinking about playing XCOM again, but I feel like XCOM is not really the game to do in like hour or two chill stream. So I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. Let's go grab. Let's go do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Stand by. Stand by. Stand. Yeah, but anyway, so what we were talking about, uh, what, Neverwinter Nights? Yeah, that game that game was really good. The first one was really awesome. I really liked it. The only problem I had with it is that you, you it, was, it was designed and made basically for one adventurer and your companion. So it was very, depending on what you made your dude, some more locks. I could kill some more of those guys. I hear gobos. So I need to make sure they're not... And punt. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Wee. Godspeed, gentlemen. Godspeed. Oh sevens all around. That was that was great. Um. I don't see any dudes down there. Should be okay. Should be okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna do some fat exploring. That's what we're doing today, boys. Getting her done. Getting her done. I don't think there's any more resources on the planes that I don't have, per se. I'm sure there's something that I don't have. I'm going to need a lot more cloud berries, too. I know. I saw them. But there's, they're, they're everywhere, man. They're not hard to find at all. You know what would be really great to find? Mushrooms. <sighs> but alas, that is not my lot in life. Oh, sh oh, God. I thought that was a mosquito. God, help me. Odin, Odin, save me, save me from the, from the sparrow, save me, ah, uh, that's what I liked about multiplayer portion of it, you could party up with like nine other players, and you could have a henchman and summons and such, yeah, yeah, but, uh, the re I liked the second one more, I liked, uh, Neverwinter Nights 2 more, mainly due to the fact that you had an entire party full of dudes, it was more like a conventional, um, more like a lot of the, uh, a lot of the games you, you play today, where you have a, par a full party. Now, granted, ooh, it looks like these aren't connected. No, they're not. Interesting. That runs into a black forest. That is a big ass mountain, dude. That is a big old mountain. Um, I am not very interested in getting on top of it either. So we this we might this might not be the end all be all of the planes that we need to go on. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna run through here and we're gonna see. Where the edge of the island goes, and then we're gonna we're gonna f figure it out from there. It almost looks like it goes just straight up the mountain. It's like yeah, black forest, yeah, kind of, sort of, maybe, maybe. But yeah, it, it, where you had to where you had a full party of dudes. Um, so by the end of the game, you, uh, you you pick up party members as you go, like like most modern RPGs nowadays. And by the end of the game, you have like what is it, eight or nine companions. And you get to choose between the ones you want to make your 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 good good group combo. 
Goodbye, sir. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. And I rather, I rather liked it. And the, and the story was really good, too. And one of the reasons I thought the story was really good is because you, you, it does do the, the whole trope of where you're, like, the hero of the story. Not just like, oh, you know, you are the hero of the story because you're playing a video game. Or because, you know, that's the way it is. No, no, no. It's like, <laughs> it's like chosen one level bullshit. Like, seriously. <laughs> Vols descended, Volvoya, greetings and salutations, my friend. How are you today? Are you good? Yes, yes. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. Wolf. But um, you could uh, you could easily, easily, easily. I forgot what I was gonna say about there. But um, yeah. So you could you could easily screw up and uh, mess up your build combo, and to where you're just you you can't survive even on normal difficulty. And I liked that aspect where if you didn't actually make your group correctly, well, you know, it had it had some it had some um. It had some uh, leeway, obviously. You know, you don't want to make it just completely and utterly, oh, if you don't have the perfect one, there's no way you can survive. No, it wasn't like that. But it, oh, okay, here, we now we hit more planes. But yeah, it's definitely not connected. Look at that, wow. Definitely not connected there. Oh, Deskido. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Boom. No. You're supposed to die. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on. What game are you on about? Uh, Neverwinter Nights. And Neverwinter Nights 2. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and then in Storm of Zephyr, they made it to where you could build an entire party like you could in Icewind Dale. And I thought that was the bee's knees. At first, I was like, oh, God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. But uh, it's not really that bad. More gobos. Gobos, gobos everywhere. You jackass. Come here. Nope. And goodbye. And goodbye. Come to Papa. Ooh. Ooh. That was juicy. That. That was extra juicy. Ooh. How much did he hit me for? Eh, not that much. I do need to eat, though. I do need to eat. I actually thought this was like something here. It's not, it's it's nothing. And more deskitos. Excellent. Excellent. Always always could use some more needles. And I whiffed it. And I whiffed it. Doing good, man. How about you, my dude? How are you today? Yeah, Neverwinter Nights is uh, one of those games that you know defined uh, my uh, defined RPGs for me after Baldur's Gate. Like it was, in my opinion, it was the direct successor kind of thing. Because that's what I, I went straight from Baldur's Gate 2 to Neverwinter Nights. And I think it was supposed to be that way, so. <laughs> I want to break free. I agree. I agree. And, uh, I mean, never, and it was full 3D. Oh, it was so amazing. Dude, the story in Neverwinter Nights 1 was amazing as well, man. Uh, what was her name? Arabeth? Was that her name? <gasps> yeah, the paladin that fell from grace. Oh, what a good story. And you could redeem her. Oh, my goodness. The love story of the ages. God, it's all coming back to me now. It's all you could, you could If you were a paladin, you could redeem her ass. I believe you had to be a paladin. Um, you could redeem her. And you could, you, could, you could fall in love and redeem her. It, it literally, it's like it's just like Kotor, just like Kotor, where you redeem, where you redeem, uh, what's her face at the end? Oh man, it was so good! It was so good. You played Dungeon Siege, yeah, yeah. I played Dungeon Siege. It's all right. I play now. Let me rephrase that. I played Dungeon Siege two, and then I was very disappointed when I played Dungeon Siege three. I was very disappointed. That was a garbage game. They basically made it into an action hacker slasher, and I was just like, "What is this game?" I remember, I remember Dungeon Siege being. Being amazing. Being stupendous. You know, as a Diablo clone, it was great. Honestly. It had a good story. I loved the gameplay. I played it when I was underway. So it was a, it was a damn good distraction. I'll tell you what. Dungeon Siege 2 was. Dungeon Siege. I never played. I never played one. Never played one. Um, but the coolest thing was that they released an expansion for... Or one of the expansions for Neverwinter Nights One gave you the Black Guard class, which is essentially the evil paladin, right? And so 
if you were a paladin, you could redeem Arabeth, and you could, you could you could fall in love with her. You could and you could actually talk her into turning back to the good. But if you got if you got the expansion and you were a black guard, you could you could convince her to join you against the evil dude at the end, but still be evil. It was amazing. One and two were good. I played multiplayer with my nephews. Yeah, it, yeah it's pretty good, man. I, I have to admit, I rather enjoyed them. Rather enjoyed them. Do I kill all these bros? I mean, I could use the meat. So how much? Yeah, I got I got arrows. I got arrows aplenty. What are we looking at here? Nothing. Okay, let's uh, start picking them off. I got the sword specifically for this. Of course, he dodged it. Man, he is a dodging machine. Look at him. He doesn't know where I am. That's the problem. So he can't charge. He can't charge at me. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I I can't believe the story in that game. It was crazy. And like I said, it was a, it was a. I, I'm I, now that I think about it, it was a lot like the Kotor story where you could, where you could save your companion that if you fall if you if you fall in love with her and you did all and you did enough of the right things in the story to make her like you. You could use your influence with her to, uh, to, uh, to make her, to make her change. And it was awesome. It was so very awesome. There's a freaking Gabo right there. Where'd you go, Gabo? Boom. Come at me, bro. Woo! And he's gone! And he's gone. Now that was juicy. That was juicy. Okay, so. Mm -mm. And we go skadoosh. Uh, let's see. But yeah, the fact that you could redeem redeem characters was amazing. I thought that was so good. And the story was was just next level. The plague, it was all some crazy plot. And Neverwinter Nights 2 was not no slouch on the uh, on the story either. Although being like, you know, one of those cliched uh, it's going to destroy the entire universe kind of things with the Shadow King and all, it was kind of meh. After the fifth time I played it, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Ow, dude, he is whooping my ass. I'm not blocking, that's why. I'm not blocking, that's why. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to talk. That was that was that was a problem. I was trying to talk, and that's not a good that's not a good thing. Alrighty, I do wanna I do wanna sit down. Now maybe what I should do is I should grab a fire. And rest. And that should give me my HP back. That time, roger that, Joker. Roger that. Lurk away, my dude. Lurk away. Okay. We got more we got more dude bros over there, too. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pull. And by dude bros, I mean more needles. Yeah, you really do need to block these guys. Stab. And then we block. And stab. And block. And stab. And then he runs. So now's a good time to stab him in the butt. What, what? In the butt. What, what? In the butt. But oh, yeah. All right, now here's what I'm going to try to do, right? Here's what I'm going to try to do. I, Tango Hotel, will indeed sneak up behind the Lux. And then we will stab him in the butt. Because what, what? That's right. What, what? In the butt. Yes. Yes. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, 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 sneaky.